Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video on Gentry Gallery. Today I'm going to be presenting a top 5 list of the most collectible knives from the Vietnam era. These knives have been ranked based on a range of collectability, scarcity, and price. While this is just a subjective list, I believe it represents a good cross-section of the most sought-after combat knives from the mid-60s to mid-70s. Number 5. The Pilot Survival Knife Based on an original design created by the Marbles Arms Company in Gladstone, Michigan, with a contract later awarded to the Camillus Cutlery Company, the Jet Pilot Survival Knife is arguably the most iconic blade of the Vietnam War. Its Bowie-like design, serrated trailing edge, and stacked leather washer handle immediately bring scenes of jungle combat to mind. The design originally called for a 6-inch blade, but was shortened to 5 inches for a more compact carry. These knives can be identified by their stamp on their hexagonal steel pommel, which clearly displays the manufacturer, month, and year of production. Prices on these knives range greatly, but picking up a 5-inch example for under $100 is usually in a collector's best interest. Early 6-inch examples are far more collectible, but prices can be significantly higher. Number 4. Nguyen Dan Knives Nguyen Dan Knives are undoubtedly the most widely collected in-country blades from the Vietnam War. They were produced by Vietnamese craftsman Nguyen Dan and sold in markets around Nha Trang. Soldiers love Nguyen's knives due to their exceptional construction and unique designs. They typically feature an iconic wide buffalo horn handle, spring steel blades, brass fittings, and two screws holding it all together. There is a wide variety of designs from Nguyen Dan, with many one-offs made as custom orders for soldiers at the time. Pricing on these knives range greatly and authentication is tough, so do your research and expect to pay a premium for an authentic Nguyen Dan. Number 3. The Gerber Mark II The Gerber Mark II is an obvious entry into this list because of its iconic design and close connection to special operations in Vietnam. The dagger was preferred by recon men, SEALs, and anyone who could get their hands on one at the time. The Mark II features a double-edged wasp blade, a cat's tongue or armor hide grip, and judo bar pommel. Each Mark II is serialized above the guard, making them easily identifiable and increasing their collectability. Some early Mark IIs featured the cat's tongue grips and a canted blade, meaning it angled at about 5 degrees from the base of the blade to the tip. These knives are among the most valuable examples of Gerber Mark IIs. Pricing on Mark IIs has been trending upward year over year, with recent sales of early examples hitting anywhere from $900 to $1,500. You can find early 70s models with the armor hide grips for less, but still expect to spend hundreds on a Vietnam era Mark II. Number 2. Sog Knives Sog knives are extremely collectible, but limited by the scarcity of examples and overall consensus on the history and authentication of the knives. Finding a sog knife not in the possession of its original owner or a collector is extremely uncommon, meaning the demand is high and the supply is very low. There is also a large market for knockoffs and fakes, to put that into perspective, Sog Knife Company, one of the biggest knife manufacturers today, was founded off the basis of reproducing an original Sog Knife. There are multiple iterations of Sog Knives with ranging rarity and market values, but all of them are sought after. If you have the opportunity to purchase one, go for it, but unless you've stumbled upon a hidden gem, expect to pay no less than $1,000 for one of these knives. For more information on Sog Knives, check out my video. The link will be in the description below. Number 1. Randall Made Knives Randall Made Knives are an easy number one for this list because of their quality, reputation, and price. During the Vietnam War, a Randall knife might as well have been a Rolex. They were known for their price and quality after gaining a reputation during World War II in Korea. Randall knife designs varied, but some of the most popular models from the Vietnam era include the Model 1 Dagger, Model 14 Bowie, and Model 18 Survival Knife. Collecting Vietnam Randall knives is a tight market, with limited supply and high demand, but they do pop up if you're seriously searching. Pricing on Randalls ranges immensely, but again, expect to pay thousands for an authentic Vietnam era blade. These have been the top 5 most collectible knives of the Vietnam War. While a few contenders were left out of this list, I believe these represent a good percentage of what both militaria and knife enthusiasts are looking for from the Vietnam era. If you agree or disagree with this list, please let me know in the comments. Also feel free to share any insights you have on any of these knives or other collectible knives from the Vietnam War. Thanks for watching y'all and have a good one.